Hi everybody, this is Bruce with Zabowski Studio. Nice uh, cloudy day today. May here. Um, was it going to come out? Wasn't sure if it was going to sprinkle or that sort of thing, but for what I want to paint today from the kayak, far along the shore, tree roots and things of that nature, which are the ones I'm interested in are down beyond that bridge. But uh, I wanted to get out today because to light is flat and I'll have plenty of time to do this and sometimes I'm thinking if the light is shining on the tree roots is kind of with all the shadows and all the uh, root system of the trees and everything it can probably get a little distorted lose the form so this would be kind of nice nice flat light work on the individual colors of the uh, roots and shoreline reflections that sort of thing to come out uh, without being washed out by the sun. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm traveling with my big 9x12 Gorilla Box today. Right now I just have it strapped down. And uh, i got the board down here that I'm going to put across my lap and use as a little table once I get to the location. But so far so good getting into the kayak. And let's get going, get down to the location. So here we are at 20 to 9 in the morning. Here's the kind of material I'm looking for today with some tree roots. I'm going to uh, go along the shoreline, pick a spot, and hopefully I don't come across the hobo place that's on the left there somewhere from before. Uh, you just never know. And there's the bridge I came under. So we're going to scope along here and find something interesting. I'll be working on a 9x12 today, so give me some room to work. We'll see what happens. Now here's something very high potential. I like the tangle of everything, and uh, I'm going to be working on 9x12. I can have, if you see the vertical thrust of the trunk there, and then with the tree roots going off to the left, can add a nice uh, interest. I'll probably take out that foreground little, what is that, whatever tree branch that is. I'll probably take that out for composition. And convenient is I'm right next to this log that I can bungee cord myself to so I don't move, even though there's no wind. Um, yeah, I'm going to go on just a few more minutes, but I think that's going to be the target painting today. I decided that I am going to strap myself to the tree here, which I did with some bungee cords. A few things I want to touch on about this painting from the kayak. I'm no expert. This is my first real venture here. Uh, number one, I'm in a stream, a lot quieter potentially with wind and such than a lake, but uh, because of my location here, um, I have to turn my head a little bit to see the view, but eh, we'll try it out. Some artists work this way because if they're trying to keep the easel out of the sun, so normally I would have it like say right in front of me so I can compare, look up, compare. Um, palette today is Mars Black, Titanium White, Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Blue, Cadmium Red Pale, Cad Yellow, yeah, Cadmium Yellow, Cad Red Medium, and some Alizarin Crimson. The yellow ogre in the back I'm not going to use, it's just there from before. And this is my little setup, try to cut everything, my ropes that I drilled in tiny holes and created a string to make a with a carabiner to hold my paddle and then I recommend bringing some bungee cords or some ropes so you can do things like strap yourself to something so it doesn't you don't move around uh, my original thought was going to be that I would just find a location and just beach myself straight at the view of the object I want to paint because I didn't bring my my kayak weights I'm thinking Obviously, there's not a lot of room in my kayak, so it would have been kind of a pain to deal with those anyway. So I'm trying to find ways to minimize my gear and to paint. So as I say that, uh, I'm also going to do something a little different. Charcoal pencil. Oh, by the way, 9x12 toned panel with probably, looks like, burnt umber or raw umber. can't remember. It's been in my studio, so I brought it out. And I'm going to sketch it out with the charcoal pencil. Uh, so some light lines, get a feel for the composition, and I'm going to get to it, and I'll get back to you. Okay, getting some little washy tones in there of the uh, tree and such, and 
I'm going to do as much of this as I can with this number 8 bristle brush. Uh, just inexpensive one just to wash in. Uh, it's approximately about a half inch across. And one thing that's handy right now with the cloudy sky is if it was bright sun right now, I think one of the problems you'd start having is the light, you know, it's hardly any paint, not very thick patches, uh, could start tacking up on you because I'm only using turpentine today. Uh, just minimizing all the things I got to mess with here in the kayak. And, um, but it's going pretty well. And now I'm going to be working on the underneath of that tree sticking out and then, you know, right in here. Oh, and I'm also, as I've been doing this, holding the brush as much sideways. I'm trying not to hold it like a pencil too much. I want to get the freedom of the paints and the strokes. And then as I progress through the painting, I'll start uh, being a little more finessing with the brush. And because you can also use the corner, or the side. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to hold the brush, but it's very fluid this way. Just holding it between the fingers here. Onward. Just trying to find some uh, shapes within. Trying to find some major arteries of the root system. And uh, try to basically just put in blocks of color where I see them. And sometimes I might, if I have a color, I mix it up and I see it somewhere else. While I have it mixed up, I'll go put it over there or wherever it needs to to go but one thing I'm really liking right now other than that highway over there it is so peaceful here I, I got this frog in the background that's just going to town the birds are chirping it's just super relaxing you can really concentrate uh, this stream is not a real popular kayaking spot I mean I've seen people kayak on it but not like they would out in a lake or something where you have I guess more to see I don't know but uh, yeah until I get further along. Here we are. I'm still using the same size brush. I've been doing this whole thing with this brush, trying to keep it as loose as possible for as long as possible. And a lot of little potential symphony of grays to do. Um, Got to start working on some detail. Obviously, I want to start uh, getting the root system in there. So I can have some uh, more decision-making skills to do and pushing the lights and darks and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a challenge. The first time really having at it from the kayak and uh, not too many challenges if uh, you have a tree next to you like I do. But um, I'm going to continue on. Eventually you'll switch to uh, maybe some flat smaller ones there to start cutting in some things uh, work on detailing out the distant trees and that sort of thing so yeah bit of a challenge but we'll keep going at it and again these plein air pieces uh, not everything's going to be a finished painting sometimes it's just about being outdoors trying to capture texture and that sort of thing. I mean, I might even put in some a uh, little bit of palette knife work in the just in the vertical tree area, just a little bit as a focal point, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going in now with a smaller flat size ten. It says probably about three eighths of an inch. Starting to chop around the trees with the darks, bring out the shapes, and uh, still got to do the root system in the front here, but I've been at it about an hour, and uh, I think it's going to look pretty good for a little kayak sketch, and I uh, hope you're enjoying this. Again, I'm really, you know, mixing up some paint, I pick up the paint, and I just cut it in. I might get two or three strokes and then I got to reload and wipe off a little bit and then reload so don't keep pushing the paint around too much it'll just uh, get muddy and intermix with other things so onward 
Okay, it's coming along pretty good. Now I'm going to go in with my detail brush. Size, what size? Size one, it says. And I'm going to do the tangle of root system that we see over here. And then work on the water reflection a bit. And I think I'll call it. Do a little trunks, suggestive trunks back there. And uh, yeah. Well, I am done for the day. And I'm really liking how this turned out. Um, very suggestive for me. And of course, I simplified some of the scene. But that's what we do as painters. And yes, you can noodle this thing to death with all the root system and everything, but um, you got to pick your battles, you know. Uh, I've been lucky. It's been overcast today. If this was blaring sun right now, uh, it would have been a little, probably a little bit more of a challenge with the changing light. But uh, this uh, cloudy day painting gives you a chance to really study the nuance of the colors. I like how I uh, interjected a lot of warm tones in the trunks of the trees, and overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you have any comments, put them in the box below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Okay, this is just a little post painting, uh, actually. It is turning out to be quite a nice day compared to this morning, which was overcast. But, hey, I had a good time kayaking. And I uh, actually have to go into work later. Not bad, just a couple hours. I live close by. They called me in. And I just wanted to do a close-up. A little symphony of grays. Sorry for the little dappled sunlight shining on it. But this is the painting. I'm going to try to... Did a little scratching in here and there. Let me see how much this focuses, but you get the idea. I'll try to go real slow. And pretty happy with it. There's obviously some things. Uh, it was kind of gray when I was painting it. Um, the overcast part it was just starting to break. And... Uh, I like how I did the nuances in the in the grays. I'll push a few little envelopes here and there uh, a little bit later once this layer of paint dries. But uh, a couple things I want to also talk about is, like I was saying, kayaking. I have a very small, sorry, I'm walking to my car, kayak. And I'm going to shoot a little film of it here. Uh, just a starter kayak but I put that rack on it right there and the idea behind that is to be able to strap on my painting gear and that sort of thing so if I found a spot along a lake that I can oh there's my hammock on the patio super relaxing which I'll probably do a little of before I go to work and just enjoy the sunshine but um, the idea behind that is to I figured I'd let you look at the painting while I'm talking, because uh, eventually I'll get a decent camera and not this Kendall. Uh, sorry about that. And so a couple things I would suggest to bringing, no matter what kind of weather, uh, long sleeve shirt. I was not chilly, but you know they make these uh, uh, synthetic fiber long sleeve shirts, which are great for outdoors. If they get wet, they dry quick, that sort of thing. Bungee cords. Um, Mine worked out great holding my gorilla box in the front of the co cockpit on the gunnel out of my way as I paddled to the location so I didn't have to have it between my legs because it's kind of bulky. So that worked out perfect. And I love the gorilla box 9x12 because it gives you some space to work as you can see in the video. And also that rack on the back. So yes, I can pull up somewhere, mostly on lakes where you have some rocky little shore I can get out and actually paint something across the lake or uh, set up I won't have my tripod but well I suppose I could put it on the rack we'll experiment later for that but I really wanted to experiment with just painting from the kayak and it worked great uh, of course it was a stream but 
usually on lakes anyway, you really don't have, unless it's a pretty desolate lake, but around here you have a lot of camps and stuff along the shore, so you can't really just pull up and park the, you know, uh, beach the kayak and then paint from the kayak. Uh, people might go, hey, what are you doing in my yard? Who knows? Um, but those are some tips and wide brim hat, uh, obviously. Uh, ideally, maybe even uh, with the wide brim hat, it'll keep the sun off your neck, or you can get those baseball caps with the long flaps in the back. Uh, just little ideas, and my little system worked out pretty good. So I'm glad you uh, watched the video, and until next time.